Hi guys, in this video, we are going to learn about how you can set up a Google Merchant Store and how you can connect with your Shopify platform. So Google Merchant Store is a great tool if you want to publish or you want to list your products online for free. So you don't have to pay anything. All you have to do is make your Google Merchant Store account, add your products and you can get a organic traffic. So if you don't have the Merchant Store account set up, that means you cannot run your shopping ads with the help of the Google Ads. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create your Google Merchant Center account. Also, how you can connect with your Shopify platform. If you're using any other platform like a WooCommerce or any other e-commerce platform, the process is a little bit similar, but uh, for the simplicity of the, this tutorial and a lot of people use Shopify, so I'm going with the Shopify. Okay, so if you need any other video on any other platform, please comments below. I will make a specific video on the specific platform. So let's dive on the screen share and where I will show you how we can create a Google Merchant Center account. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we have to come into the Google and just type up Google Merchant Store. And the first result you will see up here, list your product for free and reach million of shoppers. So then you will be end up here for Google for retail. I will leave the link in below for your convenience. And then all you have to do is if you are not uh, sign up for that then you can sign up as I have already made the account with um, this one then all I have to do is a sign in okay so either you can sign in or you can start you can see that it is showing you can show your ad on YouTube display Google search discovery app on your Gmail maps and on your business profile so you can see that with the help of the Google Merchant Center we have so much potential to show our products across Google platform so if you don't want to miss that opportunity, I think it is a good idea to register for the Merchant Center and then get your product listed. Even if you don't running your ad, at least you can get a free traffic on your site. Okay, but if you want to run an ad, then obviously you need to set up your account with the Google Merchant Store. Okay, and all the information up here. And if there is any question, you can read about it. Okay, as I have my account already in there. So I can sign in. If you don't have the account, you can simply just click on get started. The only one important thing up here is you need to have your uh, Gmail account to get access to the, uh, to the Google Merchant Center. So if you don't have it, just simply create your new Gmail account according to your business or you can simply create a generic Gmail account and connect with your Google Merchant Center. So I'm gonna do it, sign in. So sign in to your Merchant Center. And then you come up here and then you will see this window as you can see that it is showing us a prompt which is saying just go to the google and youtube app in shopify so you can download the app in shopify and connect to your google merchant center shopify and google made it easy for us to connect the merchant center before there were a third party application but google has launched their own application now for the easier integration okay so all we have to do is click on this one and then we will end up in the app in the Shopify okay so here is the app as it has been already added to my account it's saying open the app and but you will get a link here uh, click to download or something like that okay so you're gonna open an app you can see that once we click on that link it has promoted up here it's your Google and YouTube app which we have downloaded from the App Store and then you need to add your valid payment method so you need to subscribe for the Shopify uh, subscription plan. You can run a $1 subscription plan for three months. So if you don't want to spend too much, okay. And then you can create, you can remove your online store password. I will show you where it is. And then you need to add a refund policy and term of services. So you can take the template which Shopify provides, just replace your store name and your contact information with it. And then confirm that you have con added contact information to your online store. So all we have to do here is confirm and then as you can see that it is giving us the option to connect okay so we're gonna connect it so if you have added your product data or your products inside the Google Merchant Store then it will be all synced to your Shopify platform okay so here it asking me to verify so the number you have provided it will ask you from here so I'm gonna put my number here. So as we have verified ourselves up here, so to remove the password from your Shopify store, all you have to do is here online store and then go to your preference. You can remove your password from here. So just click on that one and then the password will be removed and then you will be promoted to the next option. 
so you can create your password you can choose a custom one it's all up to you so the only thing with the password is if your a site is protected with the password the, the people everyday people cannot see your site so you have to remove this password to uh, to so that people can assess your site but if you're going under maintenance or anything like that you can protect your site put the password in so nobody can check it while it's under maintenance okay so now we have connected our merchant center with it all we have to do is go back in uh, in our google merchant center as you can see that so now we have connected our product so all it asking us to add the shipping information add your product and over here you can see that if there is any notification or if you see that if something wrong with your Google Merchant Center account, if the product has been approved, disapproved, or any other information regarding the uh, related to your Google Merchant Center, it will come up here. So over here, you can add your product. So what do we need to do up here is just click on the add products. So we have a three option connect to the Shopify, which we have already connected it. So we can add the product directly from the Shopify or we can upload a product file. If we have any file with the pricing, with the title and description, then we can with the, we can connect that one here. So enter your file up here and we can do that one too. Or we can use a Google Sheet template. So we can download this template and put our product details in there and then we can continue to add our products. So let's say if we're going with the connect to a Shopify, we're gonna go to yes, continue to Shopify and open the app. Over here, we have to confirm, yes, I have added, and then you need target country and language, we need to select, so Australia, English. So it's all depend on where you are uh, selling to, and you can, you can target those particular countries. So from here, from the shipping setting, we can either add manually, or it will get automatically what we have on our store. So what do we need to do here? Okay, save, and that's all done, okay? Term and condition, I am agree, complete setup. So that's the setup which has been completed. Okay, so it is showing up here, zero products, pending, not approved. So once we upload our product, we can see that how many product has been approved, how many product has been pending, and how many product which has not uh, approved by Google, because they have a certain guidelines which we have to add our product according to their guidelines. So we need to see that if there is any product which is not approved so we have to either sort it out or delete it if it's not taking um, uh, going according to the google recommendation so normally every product as it's saying take three to five business days but mostly it get done within one day so that's what i see in a lot of my uh, merchant center account which i normally manage over here in the setting as you can see that your google merchant center account id is up here and then if you want to turn on any any of this setting you can do that one over here is the conversion tracking which is turn off so if you want to turn it off which you don't want to use leave this one as open so we can track what is happening with the, our product setting okay so this is everything here which if you need to manage or if you need to do anything up here you can do that one you can also add your product through directly from the shopify so it gets synced with the google merchant store so for that one, you, all you need to do here is add products, okay? And then you can give a title, the description, then the media, if you have images for that one, and the pricing for that one. And then you can, this is where the Shopify comes very handy. It can tell you, let's say its price is $40, and then, and then cost per item is, let's say $10, okay? So that means it can show you the very good number that how much profit margin you are running at, okay? So that is that is very very helpful if you if you can set up your product information like that one. That way, when you are selling your inventory, so it can provide you a clean sheet of data like how much you are actually making on your products. So I think if you fill up this section, make sure you fill up very properly so that you can track your um, performance on Shopify. Okay, so you don't have to do it manually. Okay. And over here is the shipping. If there is a, some weight include, like you need to find out, okay, how much is the weight? Add custom information. If there is any variant, like if you are running, if you are providing it like a clothing brand or anything like that, then you need to add color, sizing and everything, okay? Search engine listing. So here you can put up your page title, meta description and the 
product URL. Okay, so over here. So once you have done that one, you can either if if you haven't provided all the information, you can put the status to active or draft. Another easier option if you have like a maybe hundred of products, so you can use a, a Google Sheet template which is up here. Okay, so once you click on the use template, then you will be promoted with a template which Google Merchant Center gives you with a product source. So you need to provide the product ID, the title, description of the product, availability, the link of the product, and then the image link you might have, and then the price, this is the identifier. So if, if it doesn't fall in anything like that, you can put no, yes. Once you have updated this one, that is already linked to Google Merchant Store and whatever the product you will gonna add in the future in this profile, it will get sync automatically and then it will go on your on your Shopify store as well. So you have a two option, either you go to the straight to the Shopify, add your product or you can use a Google Sheet template to add your product, okay? So the next option up here is your shipping and returns. So you need to provide the shipping information like how the shipping going to be happen, what sort of channel you are going to use. So you can handle by Shopify, you can choose any shipping method. So it's all depend on the country. So you can choose up here, a return policy. So if you have any policy which is associated with your product, so you can write it up manually or you can, what you can do is here is, um, you can get someone to write your return policy, put your terms and condition in there and then you can uh, you can do it, okay? And over here, see countries, return, yes, I accept returns. If you accept the return, then you say yes. If I, you don't, then don't. Exchange, if there is exchange, let's say I accept return for defective products only. Yes, I accept exchange, so yes, no, it's all up to you. And then here is the return policy URL. So whatever the policy you're gonna write up here, you can provide the link to that one. So we're not gonna do that one up here, let's say. Okay, over here is your business information. So it's all regarding your business. So you need to make sure you provide the correct business information if somebody needs to contact you. So here is your store. So you can create your Google My Business profile and then you can connect that profile with it. So add a store, let's say, and then you can create your business profile according to your business and then you can connect with it. Three, you can add the country which you need to add it. There is a country which has already been added like Austria, Belgium, all the countries in here. So if you don't want to um, show your product feed in those particular country, you can delete them or if you need to add, you can add it up here, okay? And once your product been listed or if once your product been approved, you can see that everything across here, okay? So all of your free listing, you can see all the data related to that particular um, uh, particular products or the free listing you have on your Google Merchant Center. Here in the ad campaign, you can see all the data which you need or all the um, activity happening if you are running an ad for, for the shopping ad. So you can see oh, everything will be visible up here, okay? Here is the performance. As I said, all the performance related to your product will be shown up in here. So you can see that you can see the overview, how many product you have added, how many product in free listing, okay, what people are searching for on Google, so you can get the data. And then up here, you can compare your, you can get the data for your products, how many clicks, impression, click through rate, free listing conversion, everything will be up here. Your product, brand you sell, and there's a bunch of other option which you can, you can see. So that's pretty much it. So let's say in the future, if you need to connect to your Google ad account with your Google Merchant Center, all you have to do, go to your Google ad account and goes in a tools and setting and click on Google Merchant Center. As this account is already connected with the, with the Merchant Center account, so it will not, it will not give us a step-by-step -step process. But if you are using Google Merchant Center account and the Google ad with the same email, then it will prompt you to set up your Google Merchant Center account. So all you have to do is a click on Google Merchant Center account, it will open in a new tab. So as you can see that in this particular account, we have around 3000 product which has been added, okay? And then we can see the performance. So we can see the performance, how many clicks we got from uh, from the free listing here. So it's, and then you can see what people searching on the Google, you can compare all this thing up here. So that's pretty much with the Google Merchant Center account. 
so i hope this video has provided you enough value and you can connect your google merchant center account with the shopify account make sure you cannot connect your shopify account if it's on trial or if you are running as a a free uh, free trial so you need to add a payment method to connect your google merchant center account with your uh, with the shopify website so once you have connected add your product either directly through shopify or you can get a list and if you have multiple or 100 or 150 200 or 1000 of products use the sheet put all everything in there make sure you keep that sheet handy so any product you need to add in the future add directly to that sheet so it get automatically fetched by google merchant store and through to the your shopify platform if you still have any question regarding the merchant center please leave the comment below i will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.